Tesla has begun large-scale operations at Giga Texas. We start to large-scale. Um... With the completion of the installation of all equipment for the 55,000-ton Giga Press. You know, installation of all the equipment in Giga Texas with. This machine is not incremental. It redefines what's possible in casting precision, structural integrity, and production speed, immediately shocking the entire industry. This is the future of car manufacturing, slamming into the present with the force of a freight train. So what makes this machine different from the previous generation? And why can it shatter all other automakers? This video will separate these two questions one by one and give a full insight into the transformative effects of this press. Stick around for a full technical analysis that will change how you see car manufacturing. And don't forget to join our community by subscribing here. We are close to 17,555 Tesla fans who receive all game-changing insights in advance. 1. How does the 55,000-ton GigaPress redefine casting precision over past models? Step into Giga Texas. Tesla's first GigaPress in 2020 was a 6,000-ton workhorse. This is impressive, absolutely. But it's like comparing a pickup truck to a semi-hauler. Fast forward to 2025, and the 55,000-ton Titan isn't just bigger. It's a precision siege engine, clamping with nine times the force of those early models. So what hidden engineering leaps turn this press into a calculated scientific breakthrough? Let's start with the raw physics. At 55,000 tons, that's 110 million pounds of clamping force. This press injects molten aluminum, at 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit, under pressures hitting 15,000 pounds per square inch. In comparison with the prior generation, which is 6,000 to 9,000 tons, this 55,000 ton press is topping out at 10,000 pounds per square inch. Take a clearer view. Early Model Y rear sections used 6,000 ton presses to consolidate 70 parts into one, weighing 187 pounds total. This new beast handles over 300 pounds single underbodies with zero weld seams and an estimated 25% less material waste. The previous 9,000 ton Giga Press handled rear underbodies up to 236 inches long. This 55,000 ton version extends to 300 inches, molding entire front to rear frames in one shot. Its hydraulic rams now run dual 10,000 pound per square inch circuits distributing force evenly across a 1,000-square-foot mold. This reduces stress points by 40% compared to the segmented casts of 2020 models, where welds failed at 25% higher rates under crash tests. Material flow has been revolutionized entirely. Integrated vacuum-assisted dye venting. Older presses vented gases at 80% efficiency, risking micro-bubbles that weaken casts by 15% in crash tests. The 55,000-ton upgrades to dual-zone vacuums pulling 28 inches of mercury, driving voids down to under 0.5%, based on Tesla's internal Fremont logs leaked in Q3 2025. That means underbodies resisting heat warping up to 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit, not the 1,200-degree limit of stamped steel. The press's vacuum-assisted injection pulls air bubbles to under 0.01% void ratio versus 0.5% in 2017 prototypes that led to 15% scrap rates. At 55,000 tons, this achieves 25% faster solidification, locking in high-strength 6061T6 aluminum with 45,000 pounds per square inch yield strength up from 35,000 pounds per square inch in multi-part welds. Thinner, but stronger structural elements. Reduced weight, enhanced crash resilience. Each frame is uniform at a molecular level, preventing micro-cracks and long-term fatigue that traditional welds develop over years of stress cycles. Previous generations clocked 120 to 150 seconds per cast, idling 20% on cooldown. This one's adaptive servo hydraulics, borrowed straight from aerospace tech, shave it to 75 to 90 seconds, boosting output from 100,000 units per year to 450,000. At Giga Texas's 20-hour shifts, 
That's 1.2 million underbodies annually, enough for 600,000 Model 2s. And this marks a strategic leap for Tesla, while legacy lines like GM are still chugging at 200 seconds per part. Then there's the sleeper upgrade. Specifically, modular die inserts with 3D printed cooling channels. Old dies lasted 50,000 cycles before cracking under thermal stress. These hit 150,000 with embedded channels reducing hot spots by 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Tooling cost drops from $1.5 million per set to $900,000, contributing to the affordable pricing of rumored next-gen EVs like the Model 2. In practical terms, fewer factory defects mean your EV's frame holds up to 10,000 pound impacts without buckling. No other automaker has attempted a press this large which is the engineering challenge alone that took over three years of development and tens of millions of dollars in R&D. It's frustrating to watch a vehicle weaken year by year, and for retirees, those repair bills really add up. Tesla's 55,000-ton GigaPress changes that entirely. Your vehicle stays solid through coastal humidity, sudden storms, and decades of driving. Picture your grandkids climbing in years from now and that car still feels sturdy, safe, and dependable. And if you could eliminate just one weakness from your current vehicle, including rust, weld failure, or frame fatigue, which would matter most to you? Let's drop 55,000 ton in the comments if this level of structural integrity is what you've been waiting for. The ripple effects don't stop at Tesla's factory floor. Let's explore how the 55,000-ton GigaPress will reshape traditional auto manufacturing in ways legacy lines can't touch in the second section today. Because once you understand the production economics this machine unlocks, the competitive landscape starts looking very different. 2. How will the 55,000-ton GigaPress disrupt traditional auto manufacturing? This isn't just a bigger machine, it's a cost revolution. Traditional stamping lines for underbodies carry tooling costs of $2.50 per pound, employing 200,000 workers across Michigan alone. The 55,000-ton GigaPress slashes that to $0.75 cents per pound, reshaping supply chains and forcing the industry to rethink every assumption about EV production. The bigger question is clear. How can one machine force legacy giants to rethink $100 billion in annual tooling when their weld-heavy processes lag 50% behind in throughput? In comparison, traditional welding methods require 70 parts per chassis, with tooling costs ranging from $2.3 million to $3.4 million for 100,000 units, plus an additional 40 hours of labor per chassis. In contrast, the GigaPress is a $6 million machine that amortizes to just $1.2 million in tooling costs, requiring only 10 hours total. That's a 40% savings, confirmed in Tesla's Model Y data. By 2026, this process could drive $800 per car reductions across the industry. Hyundai is already testing this on its 2027 Ionic, anticipating annual savings of $500 million. Supply chain sterilization. Older methods require 1.2 tons of steel per chassis, sourced from up to 50 suppliers, creating logistical nightmares, especially in high traffic ports like New York. The GigaPress uses just 0.8 tons of aluminum from five suppliers with materials localized at Tesla's Giga factories. Tesla's 2025 Q3 report shows a 25% reduction in freight costs saving $450 million. For Florida-based shippers, fewer delays mean EVs reach dealerships 15% faster, especially useful when avoiding seasonal disruption from hurricane shortages. Repair paradigms flip entirely. Underbody repairs for welded frames average $1,800 after a 30 miles per hour crash. For vehicles built with the GigaPress, modular swaps replace the old repair process bringing the cost down to $600 with 50% less downtime. Legacy car manufacturers like Toyota are now investing in 30,000-ton presses for their 2026 EV lines, but are 18 months behind, as reported by Nikki. Fatigue life also leaps. 
stamped parts begin cracking after 150,000 miles under 5G loads. Giga press castings endure 250,000 miles at 7G, verified through finite element analysis by IDRA's 2025 upgrades. For drivers in Texas, this translates to 20% fewer breakdowns on I-10 highway trips. Tesla's fleet telemetry data backs this, which is 98.7% uptime compared to just 92% for competing EVs. The impact on the EV market is undeniable. General Motors' Ultium platform, which was once the leader in the EV market, is now seeing a 15% market share loss due to widespread adoption of gigacasting. The speed difference is brutal. Tesla's Model Y can be fully assembled in just 10 hours, while competitors are still taking 30 hours. Analysts estimate any competitor trying to replicate Tesla would need 200 million to 300 million investment and three to five years, giving Tesla a multi-year monopoly on this manufacturing advantage. This is the EV industry reducing costs in ways that could directly translate to a more affordable, reliable EV. Tesla isn't just faster, they're smarter, and competitors are years behind trying to catch up. So, which manufacturing advantage matters most to you as a buyer? Let's type 1 in the comment for lower repair costs, type 2 for longer vehicle lifespan, or type 3 for faster production, bringing prices down. Which is your choice? Let us know below. Your answer tells us what analysis to prioritize next. The assembly lines are already moving. Giga Texas isn't waiting for competitors to figure this out. Mass production for 2026 is locked in, and the first castings are already being tested under loads that would buckle traditional frames. While legacy automakers scramble to retrofit decades-old factories, Tesla's 55,000-ton Gigapress is churning out underbodies at a pace the industry hasn't seen before. For us, cheaper EVs, stronger frames, and a manufacturing gap so wide that our next vehicle purchase might come down to who mastered this technology first. The $800 per car savings, the 250,000 mile durability, and the 98.7% uptime aren't projections anymore. Their production realities are reshaping what we'll be driving in two years. If this breakdown gave you clarity on where the EV market is actually heading, hit that like button. Goodbye.